Hello and welcome to Day One Update. This is OxyClutch bringing you guys a Forge tutorial, and this Forge tutorial will be focusing on linking timers once again, but this time we'll be despawning objects. And for this tutorial, I'll be focusing on just doors and other means of objects. You can just despawn them for your progressive needs. Uh, but for this tutorial, I'll be focusing it just on this map for linear infection, but I'm sure you guys can uh, figure out your own tactics of what map you need to despawn objects on, but this is just going to show you how to do it. As uh, the previous tutorial we had was spawning in objects, despawning objects works a little bit differently, but also similarly in the same way. So what we're going to do is, uh, once again, you're going to need a timer on once. I just grabbed one from a previous way. Uh, however, we will be changing some settings on this timer on once to make it different. So when we place a timer on once uh, next to where I want uh, the action to occur, we will have the broadcast channel be set to 3 to be different from the other ones. And what we want to do is keep the power channel as uh, off because this is the first uh, timer. And we want the timer user data, I'll just uh, continue using 10. Now, what makes this one a little bit differently than the others is when we go to scripting, we will need to grab a timer, a timer off once. Now, keep in mind when you have a timer off once, the timer off once is the is when you want the object to despawn. So if you want the object to uh, despawn later, you will just need to continue with the timer on once's until you want the object to despawn. So you'll continue until you have the set time to have the object despawn. Hopefully that makes uh, enough sense. So what we'll do with this one, we'll make sure that the power channel is on one, two, three to uh, have it equal with this previous timer on once. And we'll have the broadcast channel set to four. And remember that we need to have the can despawn set to true so it can spawn in. And the timer user data, I would like to have it set at a 25 second. So after 10 seconds of this one, which is roughly the loadout camera, a 25 seconds will pass by and at that time the door will despawn. So while we're at the door, what we'll need to have is the spawn channel set to 4 to correspond with the timer off once and be true. Now this isn't just as easy and simple as it seems, but there is one more step that we need to do. And this is kind of a little bug that has been occurring or that I've seen in uh, the despawning aspect of it. So what we'll need is a trigger on enter on. And why do we need a trigger? Well, what we need a trigger for is we need the object to spawn in. Now what timers don't do is they don't have the object officially in. The object is actually gone because the timer says that it should be gone and it's not um, it's not this way where we're doing the opposite, we're having to spawn in, we want it to go away, so we need it to actually be there, because we need the advanced to be set to true, so we need it to go away. So what we do with the trigger on is we have humans activated, and all we need to do with these trigger ons is we need to have it have a scripting of broadcast channel 4, and that's it. And what will what will happen here is when the human spawns, he will actually have the door spawn in. Um, without that trigger, the door will not be here. Then, when the door spawns in, the triggers will take off or take on their natural times. And when this 10 second goes, it will power on this timer off. And after 25 second goes, the door will disappear. And that is the way you despawn objects. So, with that being said, I'll take you guys to custom games, and I'll show you guys this in real time. And welcome back, and we are loading up the custom game for the despawning of the door. And what you'll notice as the loading screen spawns in is the door is actually not there, as I said before, and this is just uh, proof as I grab the weapon, you'll notice the door is not there. It's a little dark because I have a room behind it, but the door is not there. And now when I spawn in, the trigger is activated. And as I run forward, you'll notice that the door is, in fact, there. <laughs> so, what makes it even more credible that the door is there is it actually has the spawn-in marks of 
really no lighting. You can notice that the lighting is a little, little off, but you know, the door is there it's in, and it's intact. And as I said before, 11.35 seconds went off, 25 seconds have passed after the loadout camera, the door despawns. And that concludes the tutorial of despawning doors. Uh, be sure to uh, go back and see if you missed anything or get a little bit confused, and I'll see you guys next time.